Hammer versus striker. That is the question we want to look at today. And not from a tactic standpoint, but from a shooter standpoint. Coming up next on GB Guns. So first things first, both firearms are indeed clear and dirty. Hammer fired versus striker fired is a debate that uh, is almost as bad as some of the caliber debates, maybe even more pointless, <laughs> but it's uh, a question I've had, not so much on the, will something block the hammer, or can you fire again with the striker, things like that, because of course there's all kinds of guns that have lots of ways around those. want to look at a more classic hammer versus striker from the shooter standpoint, and that is recoil and reset time getting back on target and back on trigger my theory is as follows in a striker fired gun we've got a spring in the back here that arms the striker you heard that first click it's not there now that's arming the striker in most guns and then of course when you go forward your trigger lifts up on that safety plunger and releases. So that aside from the locking system and recoil spring is the only bump in the path for the gun to cycle. What about hammer fired? Well with the hammer fired gun, fire. On the way back you've got the locking system, the recoil spring, and Pushing back, you heard that click, I'll do it again, that click there to arm the hammer and hold it back. And those springs have various weights depending on the gun you've got. And that's what, of course, what gives you a light trigger and you're forced to detonate the round. So my thought is, if some of that rearward energy is going into arming the hammer, is that making it softer in the wrist? I chose these two guns because they are the two most similar guns I have that are both striker and ha hammer fire. We've got the Grand Power K100 and the Grand Power, which one was this? The Q1, I believe it was called. Um, exact same frames, same grip, right? So shooter interface is the same, same locking system, and uh, the only difference being hammer versus striker. Why do I like this locking system? Well, because since the barrel is rotating and not dropping down like it does with the browning system, there's no shift there. So I know these guns to be smoother shooting than probably any of the browning system guns that I've shot, save for a few very fancy custom guns. Without that in the way, the only thing we're feeling is recoil spring and then the system being armed. If you've watched any of our slow motion footage, you'll know that most of the recoil you feel in pretty much any handgun is from the slide bottoming out on the back of the frame. The gun goes off, the boom from your round, doesn't matter the caliber, isn't really what you feel. You feel that happening and that's what jerks the wrist. So, overcoming the hammer spring is going to, in theory, stretch out that recoil give you a longer impulse, but maybe less sharp than overcoming the arming of the striker. The spring tension on these two feels about the same to me. Of course, engineers can use one spring weight versus another depending on the system. They might be different, but they feel the same to me. So what I thought we'd do is take these out and shoot them side by side, give our commentary, our perceptions, and then do some slow motion footage side by side. We also want to try the Manus X10 since it has a recoil shot in it. So let's get to that footage. I'll let you guys see what we have from that. And then I'll give you my conclusion afterwards.
So my perceived notice between hammer fire and striker fire is that while I enjoy the push of the hammer fired guns, it, it, it shoots with intention. It, it's just really strong. It also brings a lot of recoil. Um, I think that I prefer the striker fire. I was able to get back on my sight picture. The recoil was not intense, but softer shooting. Uh, I think this would be my choice. So hammer fired, that is the K100, um, has been a favorite of mine. I prefer to be able to do single action, double action, and this is one of my carry guns. That's why it's got slide wear on it, because I've been carrying it for years. That said, shooting it side by side with the striker fired Q model, I think the striker was smoother. My theory, and we'll have to see in the slow-mo, and you folks already know is that uh, as I said in the intro when the hammer's down and you fire the slide has to overcome that hammer spring pressure first and uh, although I thought that was gonna slow things down and smooth things out it seems like hitting that is sort of like an imaginary first wall first impact of resistance and that's what's causing the lift in the recoil. I don't know, this is an interesting test. So what did we learn from this? Well, the Manus X recoil measurement, though pretty handy from such a small device, I'm not sure really helped us out much. It does tell us the pitch, the angle degree change, um, but, and then a little bit of yaw, how much the gun is swimming in your hand, that's more about grip, and then your time to get back on shot. But we didn't see any noticeable difference from one gun to the next. Do you want to note, uh, we use Nosler match ammunition for this, because in my experience it's been the most consistent, like down to 1.5% variance in velocity uh, ammunition. I wanted to make sure that while filming that high speed, and also with the Manus X on there, that we didn't have any ammo randomness throwing off uh, a reading and causing our averages to change. But to me, I think it's all a matter of perception as far as which one feels smoother. The hammer fired felt a little rougher, I want to say, but I had more confidence in shooting it. It felt better. So I think this is definitely a mind game of hammer versus striker. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on it. Please comment below in what you saw in the footage. If you thought there was a difference beforehand, if you think there's a difference now, uh, and regardless which one you prefer as far as recoil. And I realize this is a very difficult test to replicate. You've got to have both of these grand powers, not the most common guns out there. But if you've got something similar that uses the same recoil system, same length barrel, same weight gun, same grip. Let us know. Thanks for watching.